Good morning, everyone. Praise the Lord and welcome to this Eucharistic celebration on the third Sunday of Advent. We pray for divine retreat center, Samosby. Heavenly Father, let your eyes be open night and day upon the divine retreat center, Samosby. May your holy presence fill this house of prayer. In this year temple, may the rejected feel accepted, the depressed find hope, the wounded find healing. Protect your home from all afflictions. And let your Holy Spirit rest upon it. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The entrance and different. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again I say rejoice. Indeed, the Lord is near. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate this Eucharist, let us offer this season of Advent and the spiritual growth we are aiming at at this season. All the Advent resolutions we offer unto the Lord. We also request your prayers on this last day of Advent Retreat at Divine Retreat Center. All of them attending the retreat and we remember them in our prayers. Brethren, let's acknowledge all our sins, asking the Lord forgiveness and pardon and to make us worthy to celebrate this Eucharist. And so we pray together. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins. Bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who see how your people faithfully await the feast of the Lord's nativity. Enable us, we pray, to attain the joys of so great a salvation and to celebrate them always with solemn worship and glad rejoicing. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Be seated for the readings. The first reading, a reading from the prophet Isaiah. The spirit of the Lord has been given to me. For the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring good news to the poor, to bind up hearts that are broken, to proclaim liberty to captives, freedom to those in prison, to proclaim a year of favour from the Lord. I exult for joy in the Lord. My soul rejoices in my God. 
for he has clothed me in garments of salvation. He has wrapped me in the cloak of integrity, like a bridegroom wearing his wreath, like a bride adorned in her jewels. For as the earth makes fresh things grow, as a garden makes seeds spring up, so will the Lord make both integrity and praise spring up in the sight of the nations. This is the word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, My soul rejoices in my God. My soul rejoices in my God. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her nothingness. Henceforth, all ages will call me blessed. Response? My soul rejoices in my God. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. Response? My soul rejoices in my God. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy. Response? My soul rejoices in my God. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Be happy at all times, pray constantly, and for all things give thanks to God, because this is what God expects you to do in Christ Jesus. Never try to suppress the spirit, but treat the gift of prophecy with contempt. Think before you do anything, hold on to what is good and avoid every form of evil. May the God of peace make you perfect and holy, and may you all be kept safe and blameless, spirit, soul, and body, for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. God has called you, and he will not fail you. This is the word of the Lord. Please stand for the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. He sent me to Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. A man came sent by God, his name was John. He came as a witness, as a witness to speak for the light, so that everyone might believe through him. He was not the light, only a witness to speak for the light. This is how John appeared as a witness. When the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who are you? He not only declared, but he declared quite openly, I'm not the Christ. Well then, they asked, Are you Elijah? I'm not, he said. Are you the prophet? He answered, No. So they said to him, Who are you? We must take back an answer to those who sent us. What have you to say about yourself? So John said, I am, as Isaiah prophesied, a voice that cries in the wilderness, make a straight way for the Lord. Now these men had been sent by the Pharisees, and they put this further question to him. Why are you baptizing if you are not the Christ, and not Elijah, and not the prophet? John replied, I baptize with water, but there stands among you, unknown to you, the one who is coming after me, and I am not fit to undo his sandal strap. This happened at Bethany, on the far side of the Jordan where John was baptizing. 
the gospel of the Lord. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today the gospel, the Lord is bringing unto us, bringing us closer and closer to the good news of the birth of Jesus, the nativity of Jesus, and preparing in a way that the Old Testament prophecies are being completed. It's a continuation of yesterday's message as well. In the gospel yesterday, the disciples themselves were asking Jesus, why is it said that Elijah should precede the Savior? And Jesus was giving the answer that it was already fulfilled that John the Baptist was the Elijah prophesied. So, dear brothers and sisters, in the gospel today, John is being asked John is being asked the question, who are you? And now he has said, clearly, I'm not Christ. They were confused. Those who came to ask him were confused if he is the Christ because the way he conducts himself, the way he baptizes, they thought it, he was the Christ. But he himself said, I'm not Christ. Are you Isaiah? Are you Elijah? No, I'm not. But who are you? Then he says, as Isaiah prophesied. In Isaiah is the most prophecies about Christ. So he says, as Isaiah prophesied, I have come. A voice that, it is a, I'm the voice that cries in the wilderness, make straight way for the Lord. I've come to prepare the way for the Lord. So today, the gospel is speaking to us today as a message. The prophecies are being fulfilled. And the Lord is faithful to his promises. That is the great message that this, this passage brings before us. The Lord is faithful to his promises. The Lord, the Lord promised hundreds of years ago that there would be a savior for you to save you from your sins. Prophecy about the virgin conceiving a son. And now in the passage today, the Lord is bringing unto us that promise the Lord gave through Isaiah is being completed now. The Lord is faithful to his promises. Dear brothers and sisters, in our faith, if we believe in our heart that the Lord is faithful to his promises and the Lord is good, what a tremendous confidence that brings into our life. What a tremendous hope that brings into our life. Our Lord is almighty and he is faithful to his promises. Dear brothers and sisters, if you believe that we are the children of God, we are the children of that God who is faithful to his promises and who is, to good, who is good to his children. That is enough for us to overcome any struggle of our life. That is enough for us to offer and surrender ourselves completely into the hand of the Lord. So this conviction deep in our heart today that the Lord is faithful to his promises and he is good and his promises are coming true. So as we are, as we are preparing these last days for the moments of Christmas, the celebration of the nativity of the Lord. Let us deepen this faith in our heart, this conviction in our heart. The Lord is faithful to his promises and the Lord is good to us. And that will keep us going in any trouble of our life. Let us pray. God, our Heavenly Father, we ask of you this grace today to remember always in our heart deep-rooted that you are faithful to your promises and you are good to your children. The gospel today, one more witness you gave us that you are faithful to your promises. O oh Lord, let this trust bring us hope and joy in every moment of our life and that strength to overcome all our struggles. We make our prayer 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brethren, let's all stand in the presence of the Lord to proclaim our faith in the Lord. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, who was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Dear brethren, let's offer all our prayers into the hands of the Lord. We remember the Holy Catholic Church, Pope Francis, all the bishops, the religious and the clergy, and all our fellow brethren in the church, we pray, increase our hope, O Lord, we pray. Let's also intercede for all our family members. People struggling all over the world due to the impacts of COVID-19. All those who are sick. And all the prayer intentions that are dear to our heart. And from Divine Retreat Center Summers we, we lift up all the prayer intentions we have received here. These days of retreat. God our Heavenly Father, into your mighty hands we offer all the prayers that are dear to our heart. And we believe you are good to us. You provide for us. And you are faithful to your promises. O oh Lord, have mercy upon all the prayer intentions we offer at the altar. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Be seated for the offertory. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that this my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May we worship the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery, and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just 
our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his, his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Anthony, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses 
as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever the peace of the lord be with you always so let's offer each other sign of peace Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world have Behold the lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Those who are not able to go to church physically to receive the Lord today, it's your time of spiritual communion. We say this prayer inviting the lord into our heart my jesus i believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things and i desire to receive you into my soul come spiritually into my heart i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you amen the body and blood of Christ keep us to have eternal life amen communion and defend say to the faith of heart be strong and do not fear the lord our god will come and he will save us
Let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feast. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty Lord bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let's serve the Lord in love and peace. Prayer to Saint Michael. Saint Michael the Archangel, in the day of battle, be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Prayer for priests. O Jesus, eternal priest, keep all your priests within the shelter of your sacred heart, where none may harm them. Keep unstained their noble hands, which daily touch your sacred body. Keep unsullied their lips, nor pollute your precious blood. Keep your unhealthy their hearts, still with the sovereign mark of your glorious priesthood. Let your holy love surround them, Shield them from the world's contagion. Bless their labors with abundant fruits, and may the souls to whom they have ministered to be their joy and consolation, and in heaven their beautiful and everlasting crown. O Mary, Queen of the clergy, pray for us and obtain for us many holy priests. Amen. As I kneel before you, as I bow my head in prayer, take this day, make it yours, and fill me with your love. Grazie.